Well, hello again, students, and welcome to another lesson. This tutorial is how to use photop.com. It's software that's free on the internet, much like Photoshop. And without further ado, I'll begin this first project by calling it Photop Primer. And so what I'd like you to do is type in Photop in the Google browser. And once you type in Photop, you'll get the first link that will appear the online photo editor, select the link. And I'm going to want you to start with a PSD template. When you click PSD template from the middle of the software here, it will open up a page which will bring you to many pre-made templates. You must search for one that you like. And the purpose of this first lesson is just to simply take what you're provided. I'll choose this one and create a a fictitious advertisement. So the first step is to create something out of this word. Select it and wait a moment for the template to open. Now, in order to edit this word super, for instance, in or any word, you select the T and then I have the tendency to select the next to last letter. Once I've selected a T, then I can hit backspace on my keyboard and then change it to blue. Um, now that I've edited that, I want you to familiarize yourself with the layers on the right side here. You have a white background layer, which is locked. It can't be changed. If you unlock it, it could be deleted by right clicking on it and deleting it. As you see, it had no effect because just above that was this purple layer, which I'm going to leave. And then there's a shape, as you can see. Um, now, if you like to add something to this shape, you can always select layer, layer style, stroke. And as you can see, it will add a red border. Ooh. So you can see how you can edit it. Click OK. And you can change the various components of this pre-made template, and then you can also add to it. So I'm also going to select layer, new layer, and add an additional word. Um, oops, layer. Okay, now you can see the, the new layer, it's called layer two. And if you want, you can drag it above everything. See, that means it's on top of everything else. And so from that point, you return to the T, select, and type in your new word. And you can use this move tool to select it and move it. You can also scale it or rotate it by, if you're still working on this layer, which is selected up here, you can go edit, transform, scale, and you could also shrink it. And then you could also edit, transform, rotate. You can also high, let's see, I believe you must be in the team text mode. You can highlight the word and up here, change the color. I'm going to select the blue range here and select OK. Again, you can move it. I see a solid drop shadow. I can add a drop shadow behind this layer by again selecting layer, layer style, drop shadow. And you can see the beginning of the drop shadow. You, if you make the opacity solid, you can make the size small and tight. You can, I believe, change the color here. And I'm going to select the same purple and select OK. Oops, didn't seem to change it. Well, I like how that's turning out, so I'll select OK. There are many, many options. Um, you see how the word blue 
has been outlined here on this font. So I can also select layer, layer style, stroke. Um, maybe change the color to a blue color since it's super blue. You can say I'm changing it from red to blue. You can see how I've changed. You can change this. Well, first make sure that size, the color is okay. And then change the thickness of the outline to give it that extra pop. So I'm liking how this looks. Now I want to add a catchphrase. It's a product. So I'm going to create another layer called layer, new layer. And you can see my layer three, which is on top of all of this. Go to return to the text tool and select here. You can also change the size. Up here is the size. You can slide the slider and the line you see here is the size that the, the font will be. I'm going to, again, select and type in favored for the flavor. That's my catchphrase. I want you to add a catchphrase to your product. Here's how you scale it. Edit, transform, scale. As you can see, you get a bounding box. You can stretch it, increase it. I want you to create an aesthetically pleasing advertisement of a product with a catchphrase. And again, If you would like to add extra pizzazz to this catchphrase, you can add features to the layer. So you select layer, layer style, again, stroke, and you can change the stroke to, let's say this red or to a green color. I like that. It pops so very well. Select OK. I like the thickness. You can change it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But I like it about that thick. Click OK. You're looking for an aesthetically pleasing. And if you'll notice, super seems to be very close to the top. So I can return to the proper layer. See as I selected the, the word layer or super, which means that's the layer I'm working on. Then you select the move tool. Then you can drag your, your fonts and your features into positions that are aesthetically pleasing. I think I'll go with this, maybe edit, transform, scale. I want you to be creative. I like that. When you're finished with your entire composition, you've made a product, you've put a catchphrase, file, export as PNG. Make sure the quality slider is all the way to 100. You'll save it. That will end up in your recents folder. And that's the assignment you're going to want to turn in for Photo P Primer. Good luck.